Hi guys, this week Raspberry Pi has launched its latest product which is Raspberry Pi 400. At first glance, it looks like a keyboard and yes, it is a keyboard but not just a keyboard, it is a keyboard computer. Raspberry Pi calls it a personal computer. Inside this keyboard comes with a Raspberry Pi motherboard. It has a more powerful processor than the Raspberry Pi 4. And there is 4 GB RAM. Then it has standard ports for computers such as LAN, USB, USB-C for power, dual micro HDMI, supports up to 4K display, micro SD card slot for operating system and 40 pin GPIO this header pin is standard for Raspberry Pi boards personally this product is more suitable for office work or productivity such as for documentation, excel, presentation or maybe you want to build a program for software, web, machine learning, etc. So if you would like to use it as a controller for digital making products, for me, it is not really suitable compared to other Raspberry Pi boards. If you look at the GPIO pin, it is extend to the side. So it is a bit weird if we want to install the head directly to the Raspberry Pi 400. But that weird thing I want to try in this video. I will use a maker head. Let's install. But before that, I will insert the micro SD card with the latest Raspberry Pi OS. Then I will slot in the maker head. Okay, do it properly. Yes, that's it. Is it weird, right? That thing I want to try. Now we connect the USB mouse. I'm using a wireless mouse. Next, HDMI cable. and USB-C power adapter. Nice. Next, power up the Raspberry Pi. The power LED will light up. Now, we will look at the Raspberry Pi desktop. Okay, that's it. I have customized the layout according to my preferences. Now, I will create a simple program to control LED on Maker Head. I will use Scratch 3 to program. Then, we need to add extension. Search for Raspberry Pi GPIO. To start the program, we need an event block. When the green flag click, next I will create a simple LED blinking. I'm using forever block and set GPIO. Look at the LED on maker head. So I will choose the most right LED which is GPIO 19. Set the GPIO pin to high to turn on the LED, followed by 1 second delay. Then I just duplicate the block to turn off the LED. So the LED on my head should blink now. When I click stop, the LED stop blinking. I click the green flag again, it will blink.
Please be reminded, this tutorial is prepared for you to try and learn. You are encouraged to improve the code for a better project application. So that's all for today. I'm Idris from Cytron Technologies. Good luck and thank you for watching.